on guys what's going on guys it's your boy bolt ratty here and uh today i'm bringing you another tutorial uh sorry for the inactivity the past few weeks uh i just hadn't had time to upload and honestly haven't had any edits to upload but that's changing now i'm gonna keep my pace at editing uh if i have nothing to edit i'll end up doing one clip edits and whatnot but uh today i'm bringing you guys another tutorial i mean my subs keep getting inactive, and partially the reason is because of me, but uh, I have almost 5,000 subscribers and only get about oh, a couple hundred views on my videos, so hopefully you guys can like and favorite all my videos or all my recent uploads to uh, to uh, have more people watch my videos because I want to grab my uh, subscribers back as they were, but anyways... Today I'm doing a tutorial on uh, what you guys wanted, uh, like a little scan lines type of deal. So basically here's what we're going to be creating. As you see back here, uh, let's go up a little bit. There's these little uh, wave type of deals right here. Uh, so basically it's a really good effect for syncing and stuff. So. Basically what you want to do is uh, go ahead and the way I would do my work is uh, make the flow really good. So go ahead and find the clip after you shoot that you want to do. So we'll just run to this out. We'll do about there actually. Uh, about right here. So go to render as, render it out. So what you want to do whoops, is uh, you want to start a new project and basically the, what we're going to be using is um, we're going to be using the effect called wave warp and you should have it. Uh, just type in the effects and presets and you'll eventually, you'll most likely have it. So this is almost done rendering so let's just go ahead and import it in. And uh, to do this, to do the effect that you've seen that I posted a video on, you need to have some basic knowledge on keyframing. Uh, keyframing isn't that hard once you get used to it, but what you want to do is go ahead and drag in Wave Warp. <coughs> and uh, I have a preset, which is really good, so I'm going to go ahead and apply my preset. Uh, I have mine called Short Scan. And see, as you see right here, the effect is really nice uh, you see like the diagonals and stuff like that but uh, I'm gonna go ahead and tell you my settings because these are really nice uh, you need to drag on wave warp as I said and when you get that on there uh, you could just change the settings right here so for the wave type I have uh, cine or s-i-n-e I don't know how to say that cine I guess my wave height you can adjust this to uh, as you like but mine is on six. Uh, but yeah, six would be the best bet. So I'm gonna stay at six. My wave width is five, and as I said, this adjusts so you can make your lines bigger and whatnot. But uh, I'm gonna put that back down at five. The direction is, it honestly doesn't matter where you put the direction. Uh, mine's on uh, 112 right now. But if you change this up, it's really good to change up uh, when you do like a little dub step and you change it every now and then. But mine's at 112 and all you have to do is just drag this little arrow or you can click and drag like this. <clears throat> My wave speed is at 1. My pinning is none. Phase is all zeros. And housing is low. So basically, oh, what is this? So basically to do keyframing is uh, you have it on here and say there's like a beat right here what you want to do is go down here and you can just adjust this let me delete my keyframes for you guys delete and delete all right so you have all your settings here the only keyframe you the only keyframes you may need is just your wave height and your direction if you just want to do something simple like I do so uh, you just click your wave height and then you find the beat where uh, 
you just find the beat where uh, you want it to stop. You just go to it and you change the wave height to zero. And uh, you can also do change the direction as well. So you just keyframe the direction, go to uh, where your other keyframe ends. So I'm just gonna put it right there, and you change this to zero. It's really, it's a really nice effect to do. And if you just ram preview it, it's honestly, to be honest, it's the simplest effect you can do. Uh, that's probably why most people use it because it's so easy yet no one used it for uh, a while ago I honestly don't know why it, people are uh, using different effects now that aren't even used but whatever alright so here's what the effects looks like looks really nice uh, but if you want to advance this up what you can do to change the direction so honestly all you have to do is put more keyframes in and just change the direction to whatever you want. And also I need to mention that uh, to make it smooth, you highlight all your keyframes, press U on your keyboard, brings up all your keyframes, and you highlight them, right click, keyframe assistant, easy ease. It'll make it really smooth. But uh, as you notice over here on the side, you can see black bars. So what I normally do is I just copy and paste my clip, drag it down here, and all I do is just delete the effect on the bottom layer, and you have no more black over here. Really nice effect, easy, simple. Uh, if you guys have any questions, feel free to message me, but I uh, hope you enjoyed the tutorial. Thanks, guys.